hot damn, it's fucking Jay Blanchett, man. I just had a fucking epiphany, man. Went and ate seafood at a seafood restaurant in Hawaii. I said, I got to stop in Brookfield and, you know, get, I ain't even going to lie to you. Get some grain, stop by the store, and get some beer for Friday night, now. Anyways, two hours later, she's supposed to be behind me. She's supposed to beat me home. Seen or heard from her. She go to calling. My phone's inside. Daughter go to calling. They're all worried about her. Now, am I crazy? What in the world is going on? That lady don't never call me to check on me thinking something's wrong, all worried about me and all that. I'm just trying to tell you something. I'm, I don't know. Something's going on. Worried about why I'm not. I call and check on you all day long. You ain't never called and checked on me. The only real way you know I'm okay is if I call you. That might be what it is, though, that I that, that I didn't call her and wonder where she was at. That might be it. I don't know. But I know where she is anyways. But whatsoever, it's beautiful out here. Anyways, just out here bullshitting is what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing is bullshitting. But anyway, as soon as she found out I was okay, it's fine. My youngin's like, Mama had me worried all about you and all that. And I was like, youngin, I said, I always come home. I said, now, she was supposed to be right behind me, not go to damn Becky's house and all that. But anyways, Friday night, right here in South Georgia. I give, I'll give, I'll give y'all the truth. In these videos, this guy really don't act like this right here in real life. He just fucking gets on here and acts like a fucking nutcase and a half is what he does. I guess he's trying to put on a show. He wants to do something with these videos. He His dream is to become famous with his videos. And he ain't been so successful, but he tries. He tries real hard. I go out and do hard work every day. I, I try. I, I be a nut and, and say I'm cuss words and talk in that funny little way or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make a video to surpass. But that was true. My wife never calls me worried about me. And that she told me that. Which I don't know. It's Friday the 13th too. And I did have to go pick up some green. So who knows. She could have been calling me because of that. But if I had got pulled over with a quarter sack of marijuana. I'd talk myself into a damn ticket. Hell I'd have talked myself into being able to keep fucking weed. Shit. Try me. I'd not talk to a damn police officer with respect and dignity. And tell him exactly the fucking truth. And tell him what's going on. Damn sure wasn't going to go to fucking jail. Anyway, <laughs> he might keep weed, but if I wasn't going to jail, he brought me a fucking ticket. I could fucking pay that ticket and I ain't going to fucking court. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I tell you what, you always see me with these beers. You know one thing I have never done is drink and drive. I never drink and drive. If I've started on a beer, I don't give a damn if I'm halfway through it or not. I don't drink and drive. My butt gets home when I crack that beer, guess what? That's it. If I need to go somewhere, I'm going to call on my daughter. Let my daughter take me to where I need to go and all that. But anyways, it's an epiphany that I had on the roof. <laughs> He's just bullshitting away. He's just out talking shit. Well, I'm bored. Tired of sitting by myself. My wife, by the time I get out of work, she goes to work at 3 o'clock and don't get out to work till 9 o'clock next morning. A lot of mornings. And she get like this week, she worked three nights in a row on like that. And I'm like, damn. Hey, she making bank day. Pay that pay that pay that. She banking. I love me some Miss Nana. I know y'all can tell by the videos. I love me some Miss Nana. She's 20 years older than me. She's my wife, but I love her to death. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got no video. I ain't thought about nothing. I ain't edited nothing. I ain't looked at no other videos to try to come up with nothing. I'm just out here shooting shit. I'm going to shoot shit for about eight minutes. It's kind of like a lie because I can't go live. Kind of get what I'm saying. And I should be the person to go live because I talk to all you fuckers. I mean, I I love all of y'all. I talk to all y'all. I talk to you. You know what? I don't even have no friends. Don't nobody ever come to my house and see me. And you know what I was thinking about the other day? I was telling Scott, my buddy I work with, I was like, I don't have no friends, man. I was like, golly. I said, I've got friends that I've never even met in real life. I said, I'm talking to a guy in Douglas 
that I don't even know. He calls me regularly and talks to me from my videos and all that. I got a guy in Moultrie that he, he got on. I got into some group on Facebook. We talk all the time. We be liking each other's shit back and forth. We're, we're cool. I've got people in Canada that I talk to. I've got a damn a guy a, a guy in Africa that Rose. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Demashi or Demushi. I don't know how he pronounces it. Man, they be over there barefoot, roofing barefoot, uh, barefooted. But I be talking to these people around the world, man. I got one in the United Kingdom. <laughs> we talk on the phone. We be FaceTiming and stuff. I ain't never met this person in real life. We just talk and have a good time, man. It's crazy how you can meet people around the world without actually meeting them in person. Just by this right here, like me talking to you. But anyways, I ain't no telling what's about to come out of this joker's mouth. I'll go ahead and tell you all that. I ain't no telling. It might be a F-bomb. It might be down. Hot damn, I don't even know. But this guy loves you anyways. He just out here rambling. He's bored. He ain't got nobody to talk to. Kids stay on the go. They don't even want to cook supper till damn 10 o'clock at night. We was in there last night. Guess what? While I was making the two videos I put on on my shorts, they was in there in the kitchen trying to bake barbecue chicken and doggone homemade mashed potatoes and all that damn 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, ladies, I got to go to work in the morning and we speed this process up. They're like, no, Jay, I'm making this food for you and we're all going to sit down and eat together. I'm like, hold on, y'all, this is youngins. Y'all are the youngins. Are you going to tell me? That I got to sit down and eat together. Uh, I, hey, I love that idea. My youngins want me to sit down and eat dinner with them, and they done cooked it. That's the best feeling in the world. Chicken. It wasn't so great, but I was beers deep, too. But I love them mashed potatoes, boy. Woo! Them things are too damn good. Anyways, I have a ball. Them youngins love me. They try to back me. I'm a little hard on them, but I'm just trying to teach them life. I know. Chrissy the other day is like, I was, get, I was giving it hell. She was like, well, I'm just telling you all this because I love you. No, you don't. She's my step young. Yes, I do. I do love you. I ain't just telling you all this bullshit for no damn reason. I ain't just, and when, I, when she thinks that I, I'm ill, but I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at you. I'm just telling you how it is, Chrissy. She thinks I'm mad at her. I'm like, I ain't mad at you. I had to explain to her why I'm, why I'm a little rough tone and all that. I ain't mad at you. I'm just trying to tell you how it is. You know what I'm saying? My goodness. But I do love that young and I love that young and with all my dog on heart, man. Thought I'd do a video out on the porch and just ramble. Got no friends to talk to. Ain't got nothing. Golly, them brakes. Might need some new damn brakes, don't they? But what you see is what you get with Jay Blanks. But hey, his joker just acts a fool in videos. In real life, man, he's a hardworking guy, man. We go out there and bust the grind, man, on the job, man. We get it done. Let's see, what else? I need a new truck. But golly, no way a man can about pay for two vehicles at one time. And may pay all his other bills anyways. I'm paying a car payment for 25 months. I don't even drive the motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to do. But I tell you what, that's cold beer and life is good today. It was just Mother's Day. Guess what? I went out to my mom's grave, man. I miss that lady. I miss her like crazy. She is here right now and live will be Friday night. She done hooked us up with a 30 pack and we'll be sitting there playing cards or something. Or acting. Or a supper will probably be. We'd probably be eating right about now because they like to cook a little bit later too sometimes. But anyways, shout out to my dad, Mr. JD, Boogie Cheese, Julian, John D. Proud of him. He got that new job and he says he's busting his ass, but he's making decent money. I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of him. They went and spent some money wisely. I'm proud of that. They went and bought him a house. I'm proud of that. That means it's his. All they got to do is pay taxes on it every year and all that. Pay taxes on the land. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of my dad. And I'm trying to do well, too. I mean, I drink these for boredom. I mean, they fuck you up. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't drink too many. Especially these that I drink. 
Ooh, I don't know. That's probably copyright. I don't fucking know. Well, fuck, if that's copyright, then that's fucking copyright. <laughs> I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm just rambling at this fucking point. Having a damn good time out here with my boys. Missing my wife and my youngins and sad. I was sitting on the steps a minute ago. Sad because I don't have no fucking friends. My goodness. I can have a ball with y'all, man. I love everybody, man. I can get along. The worst person in the world nobody can't get along with. I will tap into my brain. I, I'll talk to them and get to know them a little bit and, and talk to them and find out their gestures and all that. I can get along with the person that everybody else in the world cannot get along with. I can figure out a way to get along with it. A lot of it's mind in your mind, though. You got to figure out how to trigger your mind so you don't get upset. I, I, matter of fact, I got a man in my house right now. Oh, my God. He lives here and pays rent. But golly. I live clean. I live very, very clean. This is Eric to live like we live in pig style. I sat and watched Joker the other day, man. But my wife's mama sent some banana nut bread. He, he, done, he, he done crumbled this shit all up. And he was eating and got crumbs everywhere. Just does like this. Just wipes all the crumbs in the floor. I'm like, damn, there's some paper towels and all over there. Damn, you had a plate right in front of you. Why didn't you wipe it on see the damn plate? He's old. He overtakes the medication. So I'm constantly cleaning up behind him. But guess what? I am 120 pounds. And I'm a little cut little fucker. And I tell you what, sometimes you got cut ties. I do still got some Canadian buddies. But the one that idled me pissed me off. So from now on, it's just going to be Jay Blanc. Not no BDR, not none of that shit. I'm going out of my own. We was in a, a, in a live and all this shit, and this motherfucker going to make some comments and all that, and I'm like, dude, you ain't supposed to tell somebody down who boosts you up. I'm basically the guy who promoted you and promoted you and promoted you and promoted you to help get you where you at. And I bet his wife don't know that he he made all them comments and all that shit. I know Tanya and Canadians. I, I I know her. She thinks I'm a good guy. Might steal her from me. Who knows? Nah, I'm just bullshitting. I got my own damn wife. Trying to piss him off, piss on his cornflakes, get his get his fucking shit rattled. Anyways. <laughs> Holy moly! Cause he's probably he's probably gonna watch this video. <laughs> He sees how long it is. He's probably going to watch it and fast forward through it. I already know. But, man, I'm a good guy, man. I'm a god fearing guy. I get to work every day. I try. Man, we need some more money. Golly. I need a new hat. Look at my motherfucking hat. It's starting to get a little stained up. This is, this is my true American YouTube video selling hat. And yeah, I, I I wear khaki shorts and a white tee and polos when I get out of work. I like to be cleaned up. I had to go eat dinner today. I know, it's fucking weird. I didn't eat lunch. Fine with the guys. But when I go out to eat with my wife, I like to go home and get me a shower. Then go out there. I'm like, babe, I said, I think this first time. I don't, it might only be like the second time I've done this since we've been together, baby. She said, what's that? I said, Get off work and let's go eat together and me in dirty damn clothes. I hate being dirty. I tell you, first thing I do when I come in the house is go ahead and get all my stuff together. I got a bench beside my bed. Got all my work clothes and all folded up on it. I'll go ahead and get my good clothes together, wash my hands, get my good clothes together, get them laid out in the bathroom, and I'll take my belt off my work clothes and go ahead and put my belt in my work clothes for the next morning and all that, have all that set up, I'm ready to go. Go ahead and make sure the alarm clock's on. And I go in there, I go straight to the shower. I don't even like to eat dinner when I get out of work. But I tell you what, you smoke any of that ganja or you drink any of this beer, you go home. I can't go I can't go home and just crack a beer in dirty clothes and all that and start drinking for three hours and damn tell you where it's at. You're gonna catch a better buzz and feel better about yourself. 
you do either one of them things. You go home and get your shower, and then smoke you one, or or then start drinking your beer. You're gonna feel a lot better about yourself doing it. You're gonna catch a better buzz. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have better vibes because you're gonna be all clean. Then guess what? While you're fucked up, yeah, and while you fucked up, you ain't gotta worry about getting a shower. Ain't that some? That's something else right there, ain't it? Hot right, damn. I'm going to give y'all the first 20-minute video that I've ever done. Gun it up. I'm going to tap my whole face up. I'm going to have tattoos all over my face. I mean, the whole thing. Nah, these bitches roll over in their grave. I did that shit right here. But anyway, you got a good you got a good southern guy on your side right here. Somebody to hang out and chill with. I got some guys down here. I ain't really got I guess they my neighbors. I ain't can't say I'm really friends with them, but I like to go down there and bullshit with them too. They love me. They love me to death, but we just don't G like that. Tell you what, last time I went down there and smoked that with them fucking boys. Fuckers had a bone and I hit that motherfucker. About three times. And I don't hardly smoke that much weed. Call myself sitting right on the couch looking at the fucking door for 15 minutes. And I finally come back to you and I look around and say, It's time for me to go home. <laughs> I mean, this guy I talk about anything. I mean, I don't care. What the fuck is weed? What are they going to do? Come kick down my fucking door? Find a quarter bag at my house? Some shit like that? Take me to jail? Shit, I don't be out and fucking. By the time I get there, I'll be out an hour later. But they got to have a warrant for that shit. They going to go to a judge and get a warrant for a quarter bag of weed? They fucking crazy. I'm just telling you how it is. How the law works, man. When I was growing up, I either wanted to be a construction contractor, which I'm doing construction work, or a policeman in New York City. So guess what? I know the law pretty good. That goes back to me telling you, I talked myself out of the ticket and probably get to keep my damn bag of weed. Or get the ticket and keep the bag away. I don't know. That'd be evidence. So. Your body count ain't running, is it, sir? <laughs> man, I work on a job site every day. We talk so much fucking shit, man. We have so much fun. It's the only way to keep the vibes in the day going. I mean, fuck it. We do get off early on Fridays. We don't work till 5 on Fridays. About 3 o'clock is the latest we work on Fridays. And you know what? I go to work. The way my boss has got, the way he charges people up with, guess what? He charged he charge by the hour. So if there's three of us there, three of us there, $120 an hour standing there. So and we get everything done in a professional manner, and that shit always looks good anyway. But... I'm just saying, we had too much fun. We had a ball with it. Know what else I told y'all about besides I need to go fucking fishing. Fucking fishing. Need to go fucking vacation. Need to go to the fucking beach. Or the mountains or some damn way. I'm working my fucking ass off fucking over a year now. I ain't went no damn where, really. Yeah, we did go to the beach. The coldest fucking day of the winter, me and my youngest got up early and went to damn Jekyll Island. And it was cold as fucking shit. I got out of that damn car. Walked to the edge of the pier and said, y'all can have this shit. I said, I'm getting back in the car, Chris. So y'all do whatever y'all got to do. We rode over there for no reason. Just say we went to the beach and seen the beach. <laughs> it's too damn cold to be at the beach with that damn gust and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to come up with some new content for y'all. I'm going to try to come up with something. Try to do the best I can to make it good. I don't know what else to do. I know this guy loves y'all. I'm going to try to do whatever I got to do to make it better, make y'all smile, make your hearts warm, make you enjoy it. I'm 
Make you feel good while you watch it. Anyways, got your 20 minute video right here. I'm Jay Blanchett. Gave all my shout outs. Told the people I love to love them. And I love everybody. I love y'all. Guess what? This guy loves you. I'm out. Y'all have a good night.